Welcome back to the uh, DFD training minutes. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, rigging our Stokes basket for a vertical raise. Um, a couple of things that we've done in the past, not necessarily wrong, but it wasn't necessarily right, was if we had our two lines coming in, a lot of people would just simply clip into this bar and this bar, or clip right here. Some of the issues you're going to run into is, first of all, the amount of time it takes you to rig up your system to lower down. What are we doing with the basket? A lot of people are waiting for that rope to get tied so they can come down here and clip it in. Uh, one of the other issues is if I clip here in this single point, the basket can have a tendency to roll. Because again, it's only at one single point, so it's not a lot of stabilization. So we all remember uh, the over, over, under, under, incorporating two ropes. Uh, this way is called a limbal short rig. It was developed by some guys up in the, the limbal gorge area. Um, simply, you take a 25 foot body cord, uh, all the ladder trucks have them. Um, as your team is rigging up your lowering system, somebody can just take a simple 25 foot body cord. You can undo it. You're gonna come bring your body cord in between the basket and your rails. Because again, you don't want this on the outside of the rails because as you're dragging it up the ground, a ladder, whatever, is rubbing on your rope. This way the rope's protected. So we're gonna bring our cord in. We're gonna approximately try to find the center. Go ahead, Roger. Pretty close. Okay, from that point, I'm gonna grab with my thumb right there where that where that center is gonna be, okay? We're always gonna start at the head of the basket and we're gonna wrap down. We're gonna do a split lock and close here. We're gonna split this pin. So I'm gonna take it, start up top. Pull my side down, Roger's doing the same thing. Again, over the rail, pull my extra through. There's my split lock and close. Simple as that. Okay, big thing to remember about our split lock and close. Anytime we're utilizing this, we want these knots to be pulled together. So if you look at the direction of my pull, my knot is actually being pulled together. That knot is actually being pulled together. They should be a mirror image. Okay, so we've got our split lock and close. We're gonna find the end of our rope. I'm gonna hand Roger mine. He's gonna make hand me his. Now we're gonna come to the top of the basket. Again, we're gonna do a split lock and close. Okay, we're gonna start on the outside. We're gonna split that pin, making sure our knots get pulled together, okay? Knots get pulled together. Okay, from this point, so we know the two knots we need to put safeties on are bowling knots and our clove hitches. We're gonna even these up before we tie our safeties on. These are pretty even, okay? Let's say one was really short. All we'd have to do is adjust our split lock and clove in or out so we could get these two right here to pull even. They're pretty even. So now we're gonna put our overhand safety. A lot of people were taught to bring this all the way back around and tie it. There's no need, okay? Think about it. I put my overhand safety right here. I want at least three fingers hanging out for my safety. Keep it down on your knot. Now, as this cinches down, that safety is actually going to lock that knot together. Okay. Pull these back. Same, same distance. I'm going to simply incorporate both of them. Try to find and get the center as close to the center pull as we can. We're going to do an eight on a bike. A figure eight on a bike, incorpor incorporating both ropes. Now again, 
one person can do this by themselves as they're waiting for the uh, the system to be set up up top or at a different point it only takes one person you don't need multiple people standing around it's just as fast as coming up here and clipping it in one person can have this tied by the system by the time the system's ready they can come down here and clip in again from this point down it doesn't matter which is the main which is our belay but in, it incorporates everything that we're supposed to incorporate okay um, then we would bring our main lines and our belay lines we can either clip them into this point or again We can incorporate our long tail bowlings, the length of the basket, right? I'm gonna come right here where my hand's at. Instead of clipping these in, everybody's always short on hardware. I don't need to carry any hardware with me. Right here where my hand's at, okay? Here's my bowling. I'll pull these two through. tree back down simple as that I've got a long tail bowling it's incorporated in my my vertical system now we can utilize these tails if we've got rescuers that need to come up instead of them being clipped into the basket directly they can actually be cruising on one of the legs if we got two rescuers over here one could be prusik into this leg, one could be prusik here. We can hold the basket and we can traverse up the hill. Or if you're just doing a simple raise up a ladder, like a ladder slide, you know, don't use the long tail bowlings. Just come back here with, with your two line bowling. That's all you need.